So I want to talk about Sandcat because I think Sandcat is killing it. Uh, they're part of the Wee Knife group. Uh, you've got Savivi also. You got Wee Knives, they're the top end stuff. Savivi's next, but Savivi's are, you know, they're getting up close to $100 in many cases with the Damascus and other options that they have. So that's when they started Sendcut, and Sendcut's being sell, sold. Well, you can buy it on their Sendcut knife site, and I will give you the link to that, and also on uh, Amazon, okay? But they don't go through regular dealers like Savivi and we do, okay? We knives, not we us, but we knives. Um, and, you know, it avoids some of the, some of the, the price uh, pressures, because if it goes to a retailer, a retailer's got to get a cut, the wholesaler's got to get whatever, this and that. So cut out the middleman, keep the prices reasonable, uh, but keep the quality there. And so I've been very impressed with Sencat. This one here is the Sakshi, and I still can't find it on their site as of the filming today, okay? I haven't found this one, and I haven't found... The Watagua, and I bought these in Atlanta at Blade Show. Everybody else was off buying their $1,000 knives and their $600 knives. And I was over there buying $45 shooters. But I'll tell you what, buddy. I'm having a hell of a lot of fun with mine. Theirs are in their display case, and these are in my pocket. You know? And they're fidget-friendly and a lot of fun. So there's the Watagua. And there's the Sakshi. How about that? I got them in Natural G10 as opposed to Micarta, but you can get them in Micarta, etc. Take a look when they come out. I mean, they were there on the table. Of course, you can't take a look right now because they weren't listening on their site. Get them out there, boys. Um, and, you know, with these button locks, I, I guess you really need to face the fact that sometimes, okay, sometimes, you're going to get some button stick. I mean, these are not perfect button locks. I mean, uh, just about every button lock I've had my hands on will, at some point in time, you know, it's got a little bit, you can hear, a little click or stick or whatever. And other times it'll be just seamlessly smooth. And it's incredibly frustrating because you don't know. Um, but I mean, it just kind of wears in. Sometimes you might get crud in there that kind of hangs it up, or you did a little bit too much lube, and that can kind of make it a little bit more sticky. Actually, sometimes. Um, so that's been my my situation with that, and I know that We Knives is aware of that. But still, I'm still liking the button locks. Okay, I know. I mean, but. I, I'll live with it. I mean, it comes and it goes, and I'm okay with that. But these, I mean, for 40 something dollars, are, are really, really nice. This one is a 9CR. I think, I think this one, yeah, this was D2. Why? I don't know. Um, I'm good with 14C, probably a little bit better with that than D2 because now I'm in a humid climate and, of course, D2 being a semi-stainless. Although, you know, hey, it's been in the Florida humidity and it's doing okay. So, uh, so far so good. Who knows? Uh, and, of course, you might just have an oily rag and wipe, you know, get a little film of oil on there, kind of protect it here and there. But are these cool? Okay, so we're going to talk about the Sakshi. Also, I just wanted to bring to your attention, this just came out, and yes, it is available. And this is the Brazaria. This is not a button lock, but just as a quick aside, whew, that baby has a nice drop to it. I mean, I was so impressed when I got my hands on this. And you can get it in Micarta as well. There's a lot of natural G10 going on this table, but I like them that way. I, I like them that translucent, and I like the fact that someday I may get the liquid dye out, pour it in the pot, and just have at it, you know? Come up with some purple, blue, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So that's always kind of cool too. 
But yeah, I mean, that is amazing. And you can middle finger flick this. And this is almost eight inches, just about three and a half inch blade. Really cool. Okay. Never mind. Let's get back to the sock sheet. So this is this is good. And this is very simple as well. You know, I mean, look at that. Ergos, they're fine. Okay. Button lock, great. Because I haven't tore into it and put lube and accidentally spilled garbage or whatever in it. So it's like beautiful. Um, it is interesting that you can see the back of where this, you know, where the spring comes into. It comes in contact not with metal, but with the G10 on this side. So it's interesting. And I'm going, is G10 going to be solid enough to give a consistent, you know, spring action? And I guess... I mean, I'm sure they've kind of done the math on that, but okay. Um, it's centered. I got no play. No issues like that. And it's, you know, this one as opposed to the Sakshi, right? This one here. Uh, there's no, there's no thumb studs here, but there, yeah, there's a cutaway there. Okay. Okay. Let's took that one this is the one I did disassemble and at first it had a little bit of and still you can kind of hear a little yeah a little bit of a push there uh, as a result of me pulling it apart putting it back together probably I would recommend on button locks don't disassemble them until you really need to I mean I know there's guys that they t tear them apart instantly. As soon as they get them, boom, they pull them apart because they want to put in their own kind of lube or do whatever. That's fine. But just recall that if you do that, it may behave differently after you tear it apart and reassemble it. Okay? Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to leave this one alone um, until I take it apart today. I mean, uh, otherwise, if I wasn't going to take it apart uh, for this video, I wouldn't. I mean, I would just leave it alone. And this one doesn't have cutaways, but this one's got thumb studs. So ambidextrous thumb studs. I mean, it's just, eh. It's lightweight. It's slender. And I like them. And for the money, it's crazy. I mean, this and petrified fish have been floating around at the 40 something dollar level. And I really like them both really well. Um, 3.8 ounces. 109 grams okay okay now let's take a look probably 3.45 inch blade right Ooh, well that's three and a half all day long at 90 millimeters and seven and three quarter at what less than 20 uh centimeters it's like 19.7 uh centimeters so Wow, you know what? That's a lot of blade to stuff in a short. I mean, usually you have to be right at eight or over if you got a full three and a half inch blade. So really, they put a lot of blade in there, and yes, they did. And of course, these are number eights. I mean, there's a lot of knives that are sixty-five, seventy-five dollars, and they've got number six body screws. They don't have number eights, and a lot of them where the screw sits up on top of that pocket clip thing and these are flat they're flush and you can go left and right hand so it's ambidextrous that way okay so you can flip the clip how else is it ambidextrous because of the thumb studs it's ambidextrous that way also the flipper tab that's ambidextrous right okay now the button lock is not but regardless i mean you can you can i mean even a and uh, the, the worst lefty in the world, which is me, um, I know lefties that go, yeah, I can do that. And that's because they actually make some button locks for right-handed people where the button's on this side, where they actually do that intentionally. So um, it, that, that's not a huge, that's not as big a hindrance to someone who's left-handed, Okay. So it's pretty damn ambidextrous, fairly lightweight, basically a full-size EDC, but fairly slender in the hand. And yeah, 0.5. So, yeah. 
12.9, about 13 millimeters. Let's see, blade stock, probably three at best. Oh, yeah, at best. 2.8 at 0.11 of an inch. So, and this one, of course, is not D2 like the uh, Watagua. This one is 9CR18. And they, they do not junk the blade up a lot. They're sand cut. On the other side, there's nothing. Hardly that you can see. You can barely see the blade steel on there if you look in the right light. But that's it. So, I, I really like them. I, I carry them. I use them. Um, I haven't had problems with them. I mean, they haven't fallen apart. I haven't had hardware strip out. I haven't had difficulty disassembling, reassembling. I haven't had, you know, I mean, they go in the pocket well. Pocket clip's nice springy enough holds on enough though so yeah you know and oh i i heard somebody else comment on this too and then i thought about it and i go yeah you're right you do get a zipper pouch with them now i mean that's insulting isn't it that's an insult i mean here you are you, there's some shit you don't get a zipper pouch with cost you 200 bucks $45 shooter and you get actually a pretty nice microfiber cloth okay and it comes in plastic in a, a pretty decent zipper pouch that just kind of makes you scratch your head you go this is yeah I, yeah and you know what their packaging is their packaging is pretty simple I mean send cut you know but it's nice it's I don't know. It's all it really needs to be. Um, pretty straightforward. But not generic. Still nice. What do you think? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's send cut. I mean, I was talking to them in Atlanta and they go, yeah, not a lot of people know about us. I go, why? How? How do they not know about you? <sighs> wow. I don't know. I don't know. It's amazing. But this is as much fidget factor as anybody would want. You know what I'm saying? And yet, you know, you got you a knife. You got you a knife. Okay, so, I mean, out of the box, that's pretty, I mean, it's not, that it's, it's, it's as sharp as most knives, a little bit sharper than a lot of knives are, but it's not, scary scary sharp this one here so okay um and let's try this one though i just got this one okay yeah about the same sharpness uh let me see the watagua yeah about the same sharpness so it's pretty equal all the way around uh, it's it's good um it's not incredible but it's good and this is something you can touch up on uh, on a strop. But, you know, don't get me wrong. This, this is plenty good sharp out of the box. Ergos, like I said before, great. There's my balance point. That's easy to find. Yeah, slender, nice, full size yet. Uh, great carry. So, let's see. Uh, we do have access to the front. Let's see if I need to go from the front or the back. And I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Let me, let me see if one's easier to kick than the other. Okay, maybe I'll come from the back then. And then again, maybe... We have a round pivot, which we probably do, which means I got to break it away. But I mean, we have an entrance on both ends, so I can break it away and I can break it away pretty easy. Okay. Okay. Got it. Not a problem. Do this. So we don't have a deep D shaped pivot in there. Um, but as long as you got a way to get there, you're okay. And let me do the number sixes. Pocket screws. 
Okay. And one may be longer than the other because it looks like it goes through that standoff in there. And yeah, one is longer than the other because it does go through that standoff. And there's your your scale screw. And this is your this is your you know where the spring goes in on this back side, which is normally what I'd call the lock side, but okay. And so then we have the spring, which I will note that it goes that way. And uh, I don't know if that's important or not, but I'm going to put it back the same order. And here's the liner, which is skeletonized all the hell, but it's also shiny. Very nice. No edginess, nothing. And then what have they got? Yeah, they got... <laughs> they got they got ceramic bearings okay so ceramic bearings as well and then there's your little button uh, that goes in there too there's your blade the whole setup looks pretty good pretty clean not a lot of junk there that's for sure there's your little lanyard pin right here and then there's your standoffs skeletonized Clean, no edginess, fit and finish is really good. So there's our pivot, and no, there's no D shape, there's no notch up here that meets in here or anything. So now it'll it'll spin, but you got you got a hole on both sides, so you can you can lock it down and take care of that. And uh, then here's your. Here's your bearings, and you know what? I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna pull this out temporarily, and I'm gonna put this here, right there. Okay, so it'll set down in, onto that G10, and it won't fall through. And then I'm gonna push this, uh, pivot down to where it's almost flush so I can get my blade come on right in this area here okay now I can push it back up okay so now that's where I am now I want to put my my stop on here okay and I want to put another bearing here and some juice and am I okay here? Okay, this is floating free. Okay, well, I'm good. Uh, okay. Now, I want to put this down. Now, is this going to be good? We're still good. Okay. Now, uh, this is going to go this way in here. And this is going to sit right down over the whole thing. And let's hope it does. Okay. And let's put this screw back in here. And let's put the pocket clip back on. And that's a number six. So let's get our number six back in here. Okay. So now, yes, I have developed... A little bit of button stick I mean just ever so slight which will probably clear off in a little bit but yeah that's the thing I don't want to take a button lock apart if I don't have to but uh, I did to show you what not to do does that make sense that makes sense don't do it unless you're prepared you're prepared Okay, now, let's get my box back.
and they wrote on this. They, they will print them for the public, but they did that for the show. What the hell? Okay, that's all good. So we got two button locks in here, the Watagua, Sakshi, and then this one's really good. This just came out, so that's available. Uh, I love them. Sencat. They're coming out with some good stuff. I'll let you go. We do love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.